Yo, what's up, guys? I know that you guys, you know, I've been doing some season games, but you guys have not seen my roster, my team, and that's not right. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through every single player on our team. And we're gonna get started with Mike Evans. We're gonna go left to right. Mike Evans, 90 speed. Nothing stands out, but again, his height, just really good. And look at our team, lots of crazy, like, Super Bowl players on this. So Mike Evans, really do like throwing the ball to him. Taylor Gabriel, also one of my players. 93 speed, pretty good. Again, that is it, catch. Yeah, so he's speed demon down the field. Joe Thomas, look at that. 88 run block, but 92 pass block. I really run to my right side. Having a guy like him with that pass block to secure my edge is really nice. TJ Lang next. So, no speed. I don't really use him on like any outside pull him much. 92 pass block, run block. Very good. Still fight the interior. Le'Veon Bell, 86 speed. Not really fast. But he gets it done. Just like... With helping me off his line, Derek Carr. Throwing stats, not crazy, but he has the arm power. To get the ball down the field, Travis Frederick. Look at that run block. When I try to do my draw plays, just having bulldoze. This guy, pass blocking, not good. Luckily for him, though, he is a guy that, in a lot of our plays, is the pull. So he can use his run block more than his pass block, which is good. Tyron Smith, who so much of my scheme depends on, has 90 pass blocking, which is important. As so many of my plays focus, because I, I see the right, if I see the right side collapsing, I'm going to try to bounce out and scramble. That's big. And my flex, my fullback, Carlos Hyde, 89 speed. He is faster. Doesn't It's not great blocking stats, which is, is something you have to consider in the future. Charles Clay. Nothing crazy again. Not great at blocking, but again, he gets the job done. I would like to replace him eventually. And Antonio Brown, 92 speed. Just gadget guy. Like, he can make the jump balls that Mike Evans can do. I like the different skill sets. The defense, this is where it starts to get juicy. Let's see, we're going to start with our corner. Bobby McLean, look at those speed stats. Zone coverage, 91, 88 play... Play recognition, man coverage, just everything stacked. Bobby McLean, legendary. I really do like him a lot as a stud. Patrick Chung is our... Patrick Chung is the nickel. He's the nickel guy. He's not fast. He's not good at man. Luckily, I don't... I try to put him in situations where he's not isolated. As much, so nothing stands out really. Zone coverage is pretty good. I'll give him that. All right, on to Keanu Neal. All right, dude, look at that zone coverage again. This team is built around zone. These three guys are built around zone, which isn't a bad thing. All right, so I have Jarvis Jones, man coverage. He's just a run stopper essentially. Look at those power moves. I like to get him on pass and like send him on blitzes, get the pass rush. Then I have Lawrence Timmons. Again, nothing spectacular. Again, a run stop, run stopper. And Paul Krieger, who is a uh, who is a pass rusher. Oh, he's in the linebacker spot, so it is a, a strange fit. I would like to have. Would that affect me overall? No, I like Sean Lee. I like Sean Lee better in this. You know, guys, you guys tell me in the comments, who do I have? Who do I put, Sean Lee or Paul Kruger? I'm going to put Carl, Paul Kruger in just because I don't like the Cowboys. All right, Sam Macho, very good. 84 man, 85 zone. And look at that tackle. He's just very good. On to our pass rush, Cameron Wake. Look at those power moves, just bulldozed. If you watch the Eagles-Packers game especially, he just bulldozed right through the left tackle. And just sacked Aaron Rodgers repeatedly. Next, D-tackle is uh, Jonathan Babineau. 
Not much. He's a finesse move, so he's athletic in pursuit, which is important for, especially when I like to shut down the run. Now have Brandon Meebane at the second 4-3, swappable, changeable, defensive tackle spot. Power moves again, so the, the exterior, the outside of the line is athletic, interior is just power moves, which is good. The instantaneous pressure. We have Malik Jackson, whose power moves as well, just bulldoze right through. He's not flashy, and he does seem to be overmatched at times, but until we get a replacement, nothing we can do. Next, we have is Tavon Wilson. Safety. Zone coverage. Again, the steam in our secondary is zone coverage. He, he is a utility man. I like him when he can seal the edge on runs. Next is Richard Sherman, though. Really, he's our coverage guy. Like 88 man, 891 zone. Just, again, we like to do zone. I do like to run a lot of zone. He's good at that. Now, keep to leave. He comes in our dime packages. Again, it doesn't matter for him, though, because if it's a uh, it's zone, it's going to be so many guys running around. So, utility players all around my team. Run stuffing linebackers, essentially. Run stuffing pass rushing linebackers. Zone secondary, power, defensive line, and our special teams. Yes, I have a kicking kicker. I have the ultimate freeze guy that everyone has. I'm sorry. I do. But 91 kick return. Tight lock at 91 speed. Wish it could be better, but what are we going to do? I have an elite hunter. That's legitness. No speed, no athleticism, essentially. But he's elite and he gets the job done. Tyree kill. Punt returns. 92 speed. Of course, punt returns are not given to love or don't get much separation. If at all. So, again, this is my team. I'm 89 overall, but this team is has room for improvement. But, yeah, so let's see. I think it, it's good, though. I do try to play to my to strengths of my team, though. You know, guys, this is my roster. If you guys have any players, any suggestions, comment them below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.